What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing good, man. What up? What up? Uh, we just picked up a McDonald's order. Uh, Seven dollar payout going 3.6 miles. So let's get that done today. Um, yeah, man. So we still we still on our way to our one thousand dollar per week. I mean, one thousand dollar weekly challenge. Well, I don't want to say weekly, but week this week we trying to make a thousand dollars. This is our first week as uh, DoorDash driver content creators. So. Um, what better way to start the first week than with a thousand dollar challenge? All right, so we got the order picked up. Uh, we are going 1.8 miles from the cust from here to the customer. Uh, let's get this dropped off. All right, all right. So we just dropped off that order. Seven dollar payout. No hidden tip on that one. No hidden tip on that one. All right, so we just picked up another order going to CVS. It's a 8.50 payout, 2.9 miles for one item. So this is something that we definitely will take. The CVS is right down the block from my house, so the mileage that we're traveling is miles that we would have traveled to get back home anyway. So this is a very good order. All right, so we just picked up that one step pregnancy test from CVS. You know what I owe? You know what I always? I also get a lot of uh, requests for. Like when I when I pick up the CVS or the Walgreens orders, like the, the plan B as well. That plan B shit is like fifty dollars, like forty nine ninety nine or something like that. I get so many damn um spam calls, it's ridiculous. Don't talk to me. I need to start blocking these numbers from my phone. Um that's that spam that, that uh plan B is like forty nine dollars, B. That shit is expensive. I guess it's, I guess I guess children are more expensive, huh? But anyway, we we are 1.1 miles away from the customer's house. Uh, let's get this uh, this one step dropped off. Nice little trusty CVS bag. All right, so we just dropped off that um, CVS order. Uh, before we got back home, we received another order going to Dunkin' Donuts, six dollars for 1.1 miles. So obviously we took that one, and we actually pulling up in Dunkin' Donuts. We right here. Anyway, man, so it took us like 10 minutes. The drop-off point is only 0.9 miles away from here, so it's not crazy. And then that's like, it's less than a mile away from my house. So even though we waited a long time, uh, we're not going very far. All right, so let's get this drop-off, this Dunk Dunkin' Donuts. Um, it's not gonna be a, a very productive morning for breakfast. It's already 9.30. We only scheduled for another hour. Orders were coming in very slow this morning. Not like yesterday, where yesterday a lot of orders came in, but they were just garbage orders. This morning, not a lot of orders came in at all. So it's, it's very, uh, very slow this morning. All right, so before I pull into my driveway, we picked up another Dunkin' Donuts order. Not going back to the same Dunkin' Donuts, but a different one, which is a $6 payout for uh, three miles. So... Might as well take it, baby. Might as well take it. All right, so this Dunkin' Donuts moved a lot faster than the last one. We went in there a couple minutes, quick, boom, 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 in and out. So the customer is 1.1 miles away from where I am right now. So let's go get this dropped off. Uh, it's going away from where I want to end up, but it's not terrible. It's only a 1.1 mile travel. So I probably, I'm, I'm about three miles from home. So after we drop this off, we'll head back around the way. I mean, I'm starting to burn up, man. I got this thing on under this, uh, under this hoodie. I didn't know how warm it was going to be today, but let me see. 61 degrees, 940 in the morning. So it's going to be warmer. It'll, it'll probably increase, increase a couple of degrees, you know, up until we get to noon. It'll probably hold for a little bit and then... You know, after a while, then it'll decline. As we get later into the day, the weather will go down a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we're on, we're on our way to drop this off. Let's get this dropped off. And uh, see what's up. All right, so we just picked up our first order of the lunch shift. Uh, this is going to the Brentwood Market. It's a, um, a $6 payout for 1.1 miles. So let's go get this here. I'm trying to figure out what's the best direction to go in. 
Uh, we got the order. It was ready when we got here. Um, let me see which way I'm going out now to get out of this place. I'm gonna go down Candlewood Road. I right, just dropped off the order and we got a, a order that we just declined going to um, McDonald's. Um, $3, $3 order for 2.6 miles. Obviously, you know, we threw that back in the pool because we do not, we do not do the no tips, baby. What they, what's that saying? No tip, no trip, baby. No tip, no trip. Yeah, sometimes I think about, like, what are people actually thinking when they place an order? They place an order and they expect somebody to go get their stuff and they're not willing to give a little bit of a courtesy gratitude payment for having their food delivered. This is a $5.50 payout for 4.3 miles. We're going to decline that. All right, see, you know, whenever you, you wait for you wait for orders, you'll get a good one. This is a $6.50 going to Subway for 1.8 miles. We shall take this one. $6.50 for 1.8 miles. Let's head to Subway, pick up this order, get this dropped off. Let's get it. Uh, we got the subway order picked up. Um, let's get this dropped off. It is one mile away from this location. Um, so it's, it's, it's uh, you get a lot of local deliveries, short miles in my area. Um, I mean, you get a lot of people that, you know, don't want to tip or send bullshit tips, but if you got the patience and you wait it out a little bit, you'll get some orders, you know? And once again, working from my house is always a blessing. It's always a blessing. Uh, uh, still trying to figure out my camera. All right, so this is this is uh, it's not far away at all. Uh, point point eight miles right now. While I was in subway, I picked up a quick sandwich. That's why it probably took me a little bit longer to get back to the car picked up a sandwich for myself I'm going to start starting next week I'm going to get back on my meal prep because I'm thinking that um, you know I've been eating out a lot I've been eating I've been ordering a lot of out you know food out but um, like I, I want to eat healthy right I want to eat healthier than, than I eat now but it's so difficult you know it's so difficult for me because I don't know anything about food I don't know anything about I mean, I can't cook pretty much is the bottom line. And then to be able to, to try to cook, you know, health, health, health food is even more difficult. You know, even though I, I actually grew up as a vegan, I was raised as a Rastafarian. So I didn't eat it. I didn't even eat meat until, you know, until, you know, like junior high school age when I, you know, went outside of the house, outside of my family and got, you know, start eating school lunch and, you know, little things. But growing up in my in my mother's household, we were, there was no meat. It was a, it's a very healthy lifestyle. They still live they still live like that today. Um, but it's difficult. It's difficult for a person that wants to eat healthy. Number one, if they don't know how to cook, and number two, if they don't know, you know, if they don't know the good the good the good stuff to cook, you know, like vegan type meals. And then being able to being able to get all of that figured out in in the in between doing everything that you got to do for the day, it's like you know, a lot of that stuff takes time, man. I gotta you know I gotta figure it out, man, because you know I, I really I really I really ugh, I can't even talk. I really worry about like health concerns. I worry about stuff, you know. I'm I'm, I'm pretty much I'm due for a checkup too. Go to the doctor. I'm due for a checkup. Last time I went to the doctor, I was doctor told me I was pretty healthy. Um, he told me the only thing that was up by one point was my my sugar, and he told me that I have to watch that, you know, because you know diabetes is a big deal. All right, we got that dropped off. I just declined the uh, Nathan's famous order. They were paying out eight dollars for seven plus miles. That is a no bueno. No bueno. All right, so we close to home. Maybe I'll be able to um, 
get this sandwich, eat this sandwich before I, before I, whatchamacallit, get another order, but maybe not. So yeah, like I'm saying, man, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be health conscious, man. You know, I worry about health, especially getting up in age, you know, I'm not, I mean, I'm not old, but I'm not young anymore. Pretty much as a, you know, not old, but not young anymore. You know what I mean? That's the truth right there. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what comes through. This is two orders, 6.5 miles. Going to two different places for ten to ten dollars twenty-five cents. I'm declining that. So that means that it's either a seven dollars and a three dollar, or a two five dollars, or whatever. Either way, it's not enough for me for taking for taking two orders. All right. So before I picked, I pulled into my driveway. We picked up another order for uh, going to Seven Eleven, seven dollars for uh, two point one miles. So let's um, actually let me see what that's correct. What was the mileage on that? Uh, the mileage was seven dollars, two point two miles for five items. So let's go get that. I guess I'm not gonna be able to eat this sandwich. You know, I think that once I get back to the house, I'm taking off this sweat. I'm gonna have to put. It's, it's definitely short sleeve weather today. This guy just walked in front of my car. So it took this guy forever to get the damn order prepared. I'm like, yo, man, what's up, bro? Walking around like he's like he's crazy. Anyway, the customer's only 1.6 miles away from here. So, drop-off point still keeps us very local. Anyway, road rage. Talk to me about road rage, man. Y'all ever, ever feel like cursing somebody out on the road because they're just being stupid? Man. Sometimes people, man, Anyway, let's get this order dropped off. It's right around the block. Hopefully I'll get a chance to eat my sandwich at some point today. All right, so we just dropped off the um, 7-Eleven order. Um, do you, does that ever happen to you guys when you're dashing? I am um, driving down some of the back roads. The roads are very bumpy. And you know when, they, when you go to 7-Eleven and they give you coffee, they fill the coffee up to the top and then some of the coffee spills out of the top. I sent the customer a message saying that the road was a little bumpy, so some of the coffee got on the lid. Sorry about that. I didn't want to think that I was drinking this coffee. That shit is like, I don't know. I probably should have put it in my cup holder. I, you know, I hope you don't give me a bad rating for it. He probably will. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I just picked up a um, CVS order. The CVS order seven dollars. No. CVS ordered $7.75, 3.3 miles for two items. So let's go get this real quick. Let me see what these two items are. Enfamil. Oh, that's baby formula. Baby formula. And I think this is a low tip order too because I think a shopping order, the base pay is $6.75. So this person tipped $1. But it's... Uh, it's good enough for the, the miles. It's only two items. It's, and it's two of the same items. So as long as they have two of the same items, then we're good. All right, so we went to CVS. And they were actually out of stock of the, uh, I, the item that the customer ordered. They didn't have it. So we canceled that order. They didn't want to substitute. So we got half pay on that, $3 and change. Um... You know, what you gonna do? We're less than a mile away from home, so I'm gonna go back home. Not sure if we'll get another order before we get there. And of course, while I was in the store, the phone glitched out again. The, the app froze, so I had to restart the phone. <laughs> Yo, this shit happens at least, if I have a, a four hour dash, it happens at least once an hour, maybe twice an hour. I always wondered, to, I, I always wonder like, DoorDash is such a big company. Like, why do they have problems? The, the problems that I encounter on the DoorDash app, I never have those problems with Grubhub or with Uber Eats. Never. And and Door, DoorDash is the big dog in this whole 
you know, logistic delivery service game. They the, they they the leaders. They got the they got the biggest footprint, right? They cover the most ground, but they they have more app issues than all the other platforms combined. Very strange, very strange. But anyway, I'm gonna go try to grab grab a quick bite to eat, and um, let's see if we get another order before. Um, well, we're gonna get another order, but it's just a matter of when when we get another order. It's twelve seventeen right now where I am. So let's uh, go grab a bite to eat. I've had this sandwich probably in the car for a half hour, 45 minutes maybe. Well, I'm not sure, I haven't counted, but I've had it in the car for a little while. Let's see if we can go eat this sandwich before another order comes in. If not, we'll just take the order. All right, baby.